Greetings YouTube. Recently I made a sawtooth battle axe using this blade and this handle um, using that hardware. And I like the design, um, and, but one of the reasons I wanted to use this particular handle as a platform was that I could just unbolt it, remove this, and replace it with something else. So I thought what I would do is try to make something that looks a little bit more like a traditional double bitted battle axe you see in like fantasy movies. Not that those things really existed in, in historically, but I mean, for in, in like the Vikings and stuff, they, I, some of the Indian warriors did use small scale ones. But we're talking about the larger scale like fantasy double bitted battle axes. So to get me going with that, I'm going to cut the top third of this blade off and then I'm going to fit this in here and once I get the 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 holes lined up and everything the way I want I'm going to cut another wedge out like this one here and then you'll just have these two side blades um, showing the rest of the the rest will just be gone and I will save this for or something else who knows sorry um, so that's gonna be my plan for today so the first thing I got to do is get kitted out uh, clamp this down probably clamp it right to my workbench and then I'm gonna use this steel uh, angle iron as a guide I'm gonna see if I can put it in like this so that I can follow it to help me get a straight line because getting a straight line across a span that long accurately is going to be hard to do it by eye. So I'm going to see if I can use this as a guide. Um, I don't have a heavy duty piece of angle iron like this of the right size. I've got some smaller pieces. I really need to get myself a, a good straight piece of it um, for cutting things like this. I just don't have one at the moment. Um, and that would make my life a lot easier. I don't have one at the moment, so we're going to do with what, work with what we've got, which is this. So first up is going to be clamping it to the bench. Okay, my initial plan to use this fell through. Because if I did that, the guard would be in my way, or the L bracket, or the, or the angle iron would be in my way, depending on how you want to look at it. And the only way I would be able to use that is if I had removed the guard, and I'm frankly not comfortable with removing a safety guard like this from my angle grinder. I know there are people out there who have done it. I've seen them do it. I'm not joining that crowd. So I've decided to try this, which is a piece of straight flat uh, uh, steel. I've picked this up for another project. In fact, it was the putty knife project I did not long ago. Uh, so I'm gonna try this. I've got it in, in place that I'm just gonna have to take my time and go along there very carefully and then go back and forth because I, I very much want to get this straight. That's that's my goal. I want this, this right here needs to be straight. Um, uh, it's not perfectly in line with this these words and things, but I don't care. This is a post-apocalyptic build. I'm not looking for uh, per perfection here. So that's the first step going to be. It's going to be to take this whole top third off and then save it for a some other project. So yeah, um, this could be a little nerve-wracking, but we'll see how it goes. So now it's time to put on my safety goggles and my earring, hearing protection and my apron, which has a leather panel in the front to prevent my apron from catching on fire, which has happened. Um, don't, don't set yourself on fire, it's, it's not good. Alrighty, so I have the straight cut done. The straight piece of steel I used did take some damage. Uh, there's, there was nothing I could really do about that. It's not an ideal situation, but I think... I don't know what I really need to solve this problem. I, I have to figure out I, how, how I can come up with a guide that I won't destroy the guide while giving me straight cuts. I then cleaned up the edge with a flap wheel and I did actually get to use my adhesive angle iron just as a straight edge so I could uh, compare it. So it's it's pretty darn straight and I'm happy with that. Um, so now I'm going to put it on the shaft. Uh, I'm going to put a center line here, put it on the shaft, and then I'm going to 
uh, lay out my holes and everything so that I know where I need to cut the wedge from. That's the next step. So here we have the wedge removed. So now you can see what it looks like. Um, I think I might get a better effect if I had a larger diameter saw blade. But finding larger saw blades is going to be difficult. Because I'm not paying full price for these. I buy these used at uh, estate sales and things like that. But if I can lay my hands on a bigger diameter one, I'll probably revisit this build again at some point. Um, but I'm, at the moment, I'm working with just what I have. And what I have is this diameter 10 inch uh, saw blade. So this would be a little more impressive with like a 12 or a 14 inch saw blade. So now we're going to lay out the holes for the bolts. That's the next stage. And then drill the holes for those and then it's assembly. So there we go. This is the saw blade battle axe um, mark two, I guess I'm gonna be calling it because it's not a completely new design. I just changed the style of the blade. So instead of making it a round, I made it more of the traditional double bitted axe vibe. Um, I like how it came out, it came out nice. Again, I, I would get a better effect if I had a bigger blade. So if I could get my hands on a bigger blade at some point, um, hopefully one that's not an antique. I don't want to cut an antique up to do this kind of a gig thing. I want to get one that's uh, that's going to be uh, just a junk blade that I'm not going to care about. I have a really nice antique blade on my uh, up uh, in my stairwell here that I need to mount up to, for a display because I don't ever intend to doing anything to it. It's just it's very very pretty. It's like a 24 inch antique saw blade that I got for a song at an estate sale. Um, so yeah, I uh, I like the way this came out. Um, I think it's it's got a different vibe than the other saw. A battle axe design but i still like the overall vibe that the thing has alrighty so now for some stills and for my instagram and for my dvnr page and then we are done today so thank you for being here and i hope that you'll be here for the next weapons build